family, friends, including President Hage Genkop, gathered at the Hero's Acre to bid farewell to the late Hausiku. Hausiku was described by many as a dependable freedom fighter who stood firm despite life-threatening attempts during the liberation of Namibia, disciplined servant of the people and that of the Swapo party. The late Namibian politician was Deputy Prime Minister from 2010 to 2015. After leaving Parliament, he was appointed Rector of the Swapo Party School. In 2017, he was elected Deputy Secretary General of the Swapo Party at the party's 6th Congress. Hausiku was also a member of the Constituent Assembly in 1990. Since then, he has been a member of the National Assembly and served many ministries including Minister of Foreign Affairs from 2004 to 2010. The liberation icon died on Heroes Day last month, something that many described as not a coincidence but a clear indication of his outstanding contributions to the liberation struggle and the development of Namibia. Thank you for the opportunity I have been given to give thanks. I want to thank our President Hage Keingop for conferring his state funeral for our grandchild to be buried here. He is the son of the home pups. Even though I am consumed by grief, I am at the same time delighted that Hausiku is a hero not only in Kavango but in Namibia, and he is the first from the Kavango region being laid to rest here. I equally would like to emphasize that he has been declared a hero and is being laid to rest at the hero's acre on the day he passed on. This is a very important history to his family. Since Almighty God has called our brother to himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know that he will rise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. Lord, therefore, bless this grave in which we put our brother for eternal rest. Amen. Hausiku was born on 25 November 1953 in Kapako in the Kavango West region. He is survived by his wife, mother, six children, and 15 grandchildren. Julia Nafuka, NBC News, Eros Ekan.